Welcome back, Mongo Fix. Mongo make truck big. Put frame and bricks. Both wheel tires come off. Let's see. Ooh, Mongo need lots of lube juice. Ooh. More shock. Now we take out you bolt. You bolt gone. All clear. Got space. Now we take front bolt out. Then we take back port out. Come right out. Old spring, new spring. New spring make truck big. Leaf spring in. Titan bolt. U bolts. Too long to get socket on. Not sure how to torque. But very tight. Had to remove the brake line. Got too tight. And I will have to make custom bracket for rear height proportioning brake valve. Kit comes with two shock. Hardware. So this part goes in frame. And shock slide on there and tighten. We get mounted according to markings on shock. This is the top. And the body is down. Leave this slide on good. Shock. Released you from your earthly bounds. Not yet. You are released. Got a little wiggling and we'll get both in. Shocks on. Both sides torque. Good. Had to put baby wheels back on. Yeah, baby wheel. Stupid big wheels, no socket to fit in hole, need different lug nuts. So other day, those go. But, truck getting big. We lift up with Jack, put under bricks, wheel off. <coughs> need lots of lube juice. Rusty. This truck has four shock in front. So we take lower off first, then we take two uppers. Might be easier to get from inside engine bay. Kit only come with two shocks for front. So, I'm gonna need to figure out where to go. But first we take off. So we take steering arm off. Get big ugga dug help. Always good when old truck bolts come out. To get arm off is very hard. You must hit. This big hammer. 
<clears throat> Turn the wheel. Push this left like this. You hit very hard with big hammer. You hit here. You come under. Don't hit. Don't hit steering. Hit here. And then they start to wiggle loose. See that one is tight. This one loose. One set loose. Just a pair of needle nose or pliers. Come out. This wedge. Keep tight. Just slide over. Lots of lube juice. Time for sway bar. No match for Mungo. Still have to get other bolts out of sway bar to put spacers, but that will get tricky with welded bolts. Nice loose sway bar. So now, now we take spring out. Okay, that side go good. Well, let's get back bolt. And then, you bolts, no ugga dugga out. We use wrench, ratchet. It'll be easy. No problem. No more spring. Baby spring gone. Here we go. New spring, old spring. Remember, small hole, baby hole going back. Big hole forward. Need to put bushings in there. Okay, new bushings, then put in. Small bushing. Push in. Tilt this up. There we go. Small bushing. Small bushing. Yeah. Sleeve. Sleeve slide right in. Pretty flush on each side. It's good. Big big bushing, big hole. Got new spring in. Torque. Those are torqued. Torque. Got steering arm in. All three torqued. Lots of anti sleeves. Don't want sticking. Drag link. In tight sway bar knotted. Mongo confused. So four shock. Two old ones still there on that side. Outside shock go inside cage. Inside shock hang out. Outside shock go up to that triangle fitting bracket. Inside shock, go to that cage. Picture and instruction shows that bracket to inside cage. So that means outside shock. And remember you have to install the little sleeves in there, this bottom, so it go in just fine, side to side. But then need one for top. Most people there, if you remember, they say use, just like in picture, for the outside shock. 
but these are all the sleeves they send this original sleeve and none of them none of them fit they all too short too long so mongo assemble with original sleeves mongo get shotgun get a new bolt for bottom then one run long bolt so get get shorter bolt Old bear's bushing sleeve work good. Instructions for lift say to lower T case bracket. So here is two bolts, two more other side. We're supposed to take those spacers, these two spacers, and instead of there we put between frame and T-case bracket cross member. So we have slight pressure in jack and wood. So we take these out, drop the bracket down, and slide these two spacers in between, and same on the other side. Between frame and cross member, where they should be. Get new lug nuts for big wheel. Got socket, some tracing, the new lug nut kits. Oh, lots of room in, in wheel. New lug nuts work good. <clears throat> they in, they torque. They work good. Truck big now. Very big. It's good. Sway bar drop brackets. That's the way they will fit. Instructions show other way. So instructions show that this short edge go up top and this long part go on bottom. But sway bar not fit right that way. But this way sway bar will line up much better so it's a, the opening goes to the inside towards the engine it's good mongo get new vent tube installed new tube for diff vent go up there need extra space regular tube too tight mongo get New vent tube in the back. New diff vent. Goes all the way up. Needed extra space for travel. Did front and rear. Mongo make custom brake line extension for rear brake hose. Should give lots of lots of travel space. Instruction for lift kit. Say we have to take out front drive shaft. We have to take out so we can grind grind the stops. A couple bolts back there. Yup, there's one. Four bolts there. Four bolts on the front with the straps. We take those off and get drive shaft out. Is good. So then we just pry lightly. That come out. Just light, light. Doesn't take much. There we go. There we go. Now, if these caps come off, they have little bearings in there. 
with the needle bearings. So if they come off, be sure to reassemble correctly. We mark out drive shaft stops. We have paint marker. It's good. That is about eighth inch. Mongo get front drive shaft in. So lift kit done. Oh, the front is all bolted torque, torque marks. Now truck big. Mongo like big truck. Hopefully video help you. So you can do your own big truck lift. You make your truck big now. If you like this video, be sure to like this video. If you like this video and other videos from Mongo Fix, be sure to subscribe. Mongo always working on all sorts of stuff. Mongo, thank you.